gone out in here in this clean cut clash between Colin Osborne here and Chris Mason. It is Mason the most impressive in the first set, and Osborne just doesn't seem to be injecting any passion into his game, Nigel, thus far. No, it's a good point, and uh, if you've just joined us as well, the unique format that we have here in the World Grand Prix means that you have to start with a double to commence your scoring, and Chris Mason has just done that here as he leads by one set to nil against Osborne. Mason just edged the first set, and we've been waiting to just see the fire break out under Osborne. I'm just looking at the Premier League dates that are coming up in the new year, and some fabulous new, some old friends, and some fabulous new arenas here, Nigel. We're going to Coventry, that's the first time there, the 28th of February, back in Bournemouth, always a full house there. Nottingham, too, and uh, as we look along Sheffield, that's one of the biggest venues, over 5,000 there, Brighton Centre did the final there. Birmingham, you were there last year, and uh, Aberdeen, and then we'll have a look here, Liverpool, that's a new venue, and Wembley, doesn't that have a magic ring about it? Wonderful to be back at Wembley, going to Belfast for the first time, and to Newcastle, yeah. Sidwardell Country, the playoffs in Cardiff, what a feast to drool over, that's in the new year, the Premier League restarts, and we're going to have a real Beano there, up and down the country. You're right, Dave. Some great venues there, and the full lineup will be confirmed in the not too distant future, of course. And it really is a, an appetizing prospect. The Premier League, week after week, it really is a treat in the new year. You get past Christmas, and it's cold and dark outside, but you've got the darts inside, and it really does lighten up the winter without a doubt. And there's still one or two players playing for a place, and of course Andy Hamilton oh, went yes. out earlier. He was a possible Premier League player, and tonight's result won't well, give his chances any good whatsoever. Osborne on 94, might go full 25 here. Hmm. Went for 54, and was a long way off. It's a relevant point you make, Dave. This is a big tournament for several players who hope to get into the Premier League. And Mason now looking to take the first leg of the second set, treble 17. Frustration on his face there. He could see how close he was. And Osborne surely will fancy his chances here. Well, he's got to hit this. He can't afford to let Mason steal this leg. Double top, two darts at an open target. Only one now, and the target is diminishing. Oh. Agony for Osborne as Mason tries to pounce and take advantage. A perfect marker, I would suggest, and now he's got to go double four. Uh, he might be happy. A very real chance for Mason to come from some way back, and uh, Osborne now knows he's out of Alcatraz. Perfectly put, Dave, yes. Osborne takes advantage, and this man will be bitterly disappointed in his... Over this quick-fire discipline, if you get a shot at a double to finish, you have got to snuff it up like an alligator. And Mason knows there the chance was afforded to him. He missed the opportunity. Three darts at a double. It could be costly. It could be decisive in the final analysis. We know what Osborne can do, of course, as you said earlier, Dave, three years as a professional, but he got through to the semi-finals of the uh, UK Open at Bolton at the Reebok Stadium in June, so he can rise to the occasion on the big stage. Look at the body language from Mason already. Mason, it has to be says, at this game, has a few scars. It's too early for... Osborne yet at this particular sport, chosen oh, sport of his, can have too many heartbreaks, but uh, Mason has known, I could say, and we have said before, the slings and arrows of outrageous misfortune. 135. Osborne also a very keen table tennis player in his younger years. Well, 
although the travel trade bed was inviting, he went across sensibly. And he's in command in this leg. It could be in command of the set after his next throw. Mason biting back viciously. Superbly done by Chris Mason, and now Osborne knows this is a very important phase of the game. Nine double sixteen. Tops now for Osborne to go two up. Oh, how close was that? Agonizing from an Osborne perspective. And once again, Mason has a chance to come from behind. 12 would leave the ball. Well, you know what he wants. It's right in the middle. Oh, he was a whisker away. <laughs> what a game this is turning out to be. You can see the frustration there where Mason is concerned. And now Osborne steps up for that double ten. Colin Osborne, two up in the second set of the match. And what a match we have now. Remember, first to two sets to win the game. And Chris Mason there back at the stage. You saw the frustration because he had four darts at doubles here. He knows he could be going into this leg looking for one more leg for a place in the second round and a guarantee of £5,000 in prize money. He knows he's had two chances and he knows he's blown both of them. And that's where there is a real test of your mental strength and your ability to handle the pressure, Dave, because you say he's missed chances and he's going to look at the positives here and now push forward. Yes, he's, he's still a a set up and he could still win this set go forward to meet uh, Terry Jenkins and a hard working win over Wayne Jones from Wolverhampton and the Mad Hatters the Leprechauns the lovely lovely Irish characters they're here and they're having a ball I said earlier Dave it's a great turnout for a Monday night and the first night of the tournament ticket sales have been good the interest is high and there is a terrific atmosphere out there Another example of what has been called the improbable sporting miracle of big time darts. Well, it is a great story. More and more people being attracted to the sport. And look at this from Chris Mason. This is one of the reasons why. Great excitement from Mason. And he's left himself. A party piece finish. It really is a grand old crowd pleaser. 164, if he can manage it, and he loved because psychologically it could turn this set upside down. At the moment, Osborne is in control, but if Mason can win 60. this leg with a big finish, psychologically it would stand him in terrific stead. But he needed that treble, and he has missed it. Still looking useful. 92. Here is the wizard, Colin Osborne. He's the best of starts, so just looking to really put the pressure on on uh, Chris Mason now. 85. 72. 72. Many options here. Double 12. 24 remaining. Now then. He has the marker, has he the accuracy? He has, and he's back at this set. 